Greetings folks, let's take a look at how to set up GarageBand to record a podcast or narration, voiceover, etc. So I've just fired up GarageBand here and I'm going to go quite simply with Empty Project. I'm going to choose this and it's going to give me some options here. So the first thing I want to make sure is I've got it set to record using a microphone, this option here. And I want to make sure in this menu that it's showing the correct microphone. So I don't want the system setting. Okay, I don't want the built-in microphone. Okay, um, because I want to make sure that I'm using my good microphone. If you're recording narration, podcast, etc., it's really important to have a decent microphone. It doesn't have to be a hugely expensive microphone, but it does have to be one that's fairly decent because you're not going to get good sound just using the tiny little microphone built into computers. Okay. So I also, I've got headphones, so I want to be able to hear what I'm recording as I'm doing it because that's very important to monitor the sound because without this, I've noticed that people will often tend to back off the microphone, not hear that they're getting a good, strong uh, audio level. And if I just move away from the microphone just a little bit, okay, I'm just moving away from the microphone, just sort of turn my head there you'll hear a big drop off in sound, okay? So you need to be facing the microphone, close to the microphone, to make sure you're getting a good, strong, clear signal on your recording. All right, so got my headphones on, monitoring the sound. I've chosen my input. I'm gonna hit create, and it's gonna create a new track in GarageBand. So what I want to make sure I'm doing now is I've got the audio record level set to a decent level okay but not too high so what i want to do is take a look at this this is my level here and i want to make sure that i'm going at just getting into the yellow there but if i do get too loud and okay i want to avoid getting hit in the red okay so i can always make it a bit louder but if i peak if i distort get too loud okay it's going to distort the signal and i can't fix that that's why I avoid the automated level control there because, uh, you know, if you're quiet or just got a, a, a silence and you start speaking and the computer has to turn down your level, you can't always do it fast enough and the first part of your sentence comes in kind of hot and peaky and loud and uh, it can distort. So I'm not a big fan of, in any situation of using automatic features. I always think it's much better to set things yourself and control them yourself. So I'll just make sure I've got a level where I can speak, now and I can chat away and it's going into the yellow, but if I do get louder, okay, it's still not going right up to the red there. All right, so, um, uh, I'll ignore the noise gate now. Again, a noise gate can be a good thing so that when there's a pause, a silence, okay, it, it just cuts out the sound. But sometimes if you've got it set wrong, it can sort of cut off the start of your sentence, etc. So just for now, because we're keeping it very simple, I'm just going to make sure that's turned off. And in terms of plugins, I'm not going to do those. We can always add those later when we look at the editing and the final output to get the kind of master sound. Okay, so basically we want a good audio level, nice nice signal with some headroom to get louder. And we've got that set, we've got our microphone set, got the headphones on, and here we go. If I hit record now, the default settings for GarageBand, because remember it is a music program, has got a counting and a click track. So if I uh, hit record here, what you'll get is it'll start clicking it'll count one we'll get a one two three four click and a click track running through your recording so i make sure i've got those turned off and then i can just hit record and we're all good and as you can see i'm getting a decent signal all very good i can get louder and it's not hitting the red there so that's all fine and i've recorded the first section of say my podcast on narration if i want to stop i can just hit the space bar all good I could go back and play that back and I can also just carry on hit record again hit R for record is the shortcut and just carry on again from where I left off hit the space bar and we stopped it all nice and simple so it's very easy to set up to record in GarageBand it does a great job it's great for podcasts etc so in later tutorials we'll take a look at how to edit some of the material you've recorded 
add kind of soundtracks and things like that, music, special effects, and of course do a final kind of master mix down of the sound. But for now, thanks for watching and cheers.